Hey guys, so it's been a while since my last video. I'm not gonna lie, it's been a motivational issue. Uh, I just haven't been sitting down to film videos uh, lately, and I figured I needed to give myself a kick in the butt, and the easiest way to do that is a sketchbook video. So uh, I'm just gonna flip through this sketchbook, which is completely full, because I have been sketching, I've been drawing, I just haven't been filming. So let's get started. Um, and yeah, not all these are, uh, there's not as many finished drawings in this sketchbook uh, that you're used to from my sketchbooks, I think. Uh, I did a lot more of this stuff. I've just been really having a hard time coming up with motivation. Uh, so this is kind of what I do, I just practice. And in this sketchbook, I was really trying to focus on more dynamic poses and things like that. So you'll kind of see some of these characters in here are, uh, very exaggerated uh, poses and whatnot. So, and I believe all these, yes, all these are sketches from my head. So I'm not looking at anything. I'm just kind of trying to remember um, some poses and things like that that I've looked at recently. Uh, this is kind of a different angle, looking down. Pretty quick sketch of kind of like a weird. Uh, I don't know. Kind of inspired by Rocket Raccoon, maybe quick sketch. This is a very uh, crappy Batman dynamic sketch. <laughs> um, I'm trying to do super exaggerated like you know foreshortening and things like that but this was just yeah not happening on this one. Uh, some random sketches uh, again foreshortening on the arms you can kind of see there uh, but and then, I don't know, just a face, just a bust there, because, like I said, I, motivationally, I feel like I need a, a project or something to, like, give me direction right now, because I am struggling. So I'm sure you guys can relate to that every now and again. Uh, this is kind of uh, two guys fighting, and this guy's like a cybernetic, uh, kind of inspired by, um, oh, what's her name? I can't think of her name right now. Wolverine's like nemesis, Lady Deathstrike, with her stretchy arms and stuff like that. So, uh, eh, not super great. It's still straight on, looking at pretty much eye level, which I've been trying to get away from that. I mean, he's um, his shoulders are facing you and stuff, so you can't see his torso. So that's part of what I was working on, but I would have liked to have seen the camera angle maybe shift up to the top a little bit, but still kind of a fun, interesting drawing. Uh, again, same kind of concept. She's kind of flipping over this robot guy, shooting him in the head with a, a little handgun. Um, again, these are drawings from my head. I'm not really looking at anything, uh, but I do like, you know, how she's kind of pushing his body weight down, grabbing on his arm. I feel like it's a dynamic, interesting uh, action sequence that's kind of happening here. And these are really rough sketches with, um, in case you're interested, Gear Graph 500, uh, 0.5. This is what I use to do a lot of these sketches. And this is, I like this pencil because it's just got a nice weight to it. So this is what I've always used. Some quick sketches. I'll just flip by those real quick. Some awesome drawings by my daughter. Uh, this one I spent a little bit more time on. Um, and again, you can kind of see a lot of foreshortening there in his arm. He's kind of reaching out at you. Uh, there's this kind of little squirrel girl character down here. And I spent a little bit more time on this one. Um, I like this guy. I like the angle. You're kind of looking up at him. So you're not looking you know at eye level in this one so I feel like I, I accomplished that a little bit more you're beneath him for sure so I felt like that was a pretty successful attempt at changing the perspective uh, this is kind of a quick swamp thing sketch uh, kind of like I like the way this one turned out you know no detail in the leg and stuff like that I mean obviously this is just a sketch but I created that focal point with the detail and stuff in his face and his arm right in this area so not a lot of detail anywhere else but I feel like it you know draws your attention to where I spent the most amount of work. Uh, that's that Wonder Woman sketch if you want to watch if you want to watch me draw this you can check out that video I filmed this one real quick sketch 
Uh, so I was at a basketball tournament and I was sitting uh, waiting between games and I figured I'd do some sketching while I waited so I was inspired. Uh, I play a lot of basketball in case you didn't know and it's about the only way I stay in shape so I play in various tournaments and leagues and stuff like that year round and this is kind of like a futuristic robot basketball player. And again, you can watch this video. I sketched my wife from memory. Uh, these are some random character sketches, just some weird little robot guys. Uh, didn't spend a whole lot of time on them, just kind of mess around with their form and interesting. Uh, like this guy's kind of an interesting shape. He's not a humanoid or whatever. So I was just trying to try some different things out there. Uh, I switched up pencils on this one. A lot of you guys are familiar with this. This is my Rotring. Um, lead holder. So I just used red. Uh, I don't know. It's probably uh, some kind of uh, color pencil that's in there, but it's waxier. I love this thing. So use that for a while. Kind of a weird little goblin guy. Just some random sketches. I like that guy's kind of helmet thing up there. So it's kind of fun ideas. Uh, these were some sketches. Uh, some dynamic fighting pose sketches I was doing. Again, couldn't think of anything to draw, so this is what I came up with. Just practicing for this one, which was another video I did. So if you want to watch this one, check it out. <laughs> this Iron Fist drawing. Did this one kind of like the same as that Wonder Woman. Pretty quick sketch. Uh, here's some female poses from memory. Uh, this is just practicing kind of going into my head and thinking about, you know, I, I, what I need to do uh, with these is, I think I feel like I've gotten way better over the last couple of years at drawing female um, figures. So if you started watching my videos a long time ago, two years, three years ago, I was horrible at female figures. I'm still not super great, but I'm definitely made up some ground. So I tend to go back to this every now and again just to refresh my brain. Uh, skip to one there. So this is kind of a vampire sketch, quick little, I don't know, not a whole lot of thought in this one. I just thought I wanted to do the head at a kind of a, a different angle, not straight on. So I feel like I accomplished that. Uh, some vampire girls, quick sketches. I like this one, just kind of hunched over, not all pretty like this one. It's kind of interesting. Uh, some warriors, uh, warrior pose. This guy's like sliding on the dirt, slicing into this guy's, or actually sliced his head off. I th that was kind of an afterthought though. I just was really focusing on this guy's kind of dynamic pose there. Uh, more warrior ideas, poses. I like this guy's face. Um, interesting. I like his haircut. So this was just, again, Messing around, drawing ideas. Got a warrior here, a huge sword. Kind of, I don't know if he's pulling it out of the ground or what, but um, yeah, just some interesting fantasy character idea art. Drew on the back side of this one. Kind of a space girl. Uh, this one's kind of interesting too, because she looks worried. She's looking off at something else, and I don't know what could be more worrisome than that guy right there, kind of either coming into the cave. I didn't fill it out enough to really define that or if he's in a cave himself. So, But this is kind of a fun little fantasy sketch to get my brain working. Don't know if it worked. I don't think it did really. So here we have some Spider-Man Venom uh, sketches. This is real quick just sketching poses. Uh, a lot of the work in the sketchbooks is, I mean, if you've seen my other sketchbooks, they're a lot more uh, I've spent a lot more time on each drawing and, and drawing uh, the details and rendering and stuff like that. So a lot of the stuff is just quick, just searching for inspiration, I think, in my own head. So some fun little uh, stylized girl character idea sketches. So different expressions, um, different like she's running, she's jumping, things like that. Just and different kind of expressions on her faces too, just randomly messing around. As you can tell, I draw a lot of different stuff, so um, this was just another random page, just for some variety, I guess. 
uh, more realistic faces, but different kinds of expressions. Uh, worried, you know, since, I don't know what all these are. She definitely looks angry. Kind of looks like Katy Perry, too, actually. So, you know, just a quick sketch page. This one actually is probably one of the more finished ones in the the sketchbook, which I did red and blue with this one. And I actually like this one a lot. This guy's kind of like this um, Elvis Presley looking goblin guy. I don't know, maybe it's just the sideburns for that, but I thought this one turned out pretty cool. Uh, these are kind of a couple of vagabonds. Like, um, this guy's definitely interesting. They definitely look like you've stumbled across them or you've offended them in some way. And uh, this guy's the muscle. And he's kind of pulling the strap from his backpack. Maybe he's going to set it down and beat you up. I don't know. But anyway, so that's the rundown of this sketchbook. Um, I hope you guys liked it. I'm going to hopefully have more videos. I'm going to be filming a video after this one of my wife's sketchbook, which she has a really good uh, new sketchbook that I'm going to compare to one of the old ones. If you watch that old video where I went through her sketchbook, I'm going to be doing that soon. So, um, anyway, hopefully I'll be uploading a little bit more frequently, guys. Sorry about the uh, video hiatus on my part. It's just, you know, sometimes life gets in the way. But uh, thanks for watching the video. And if you haven't, subscribe.